Welcome on in, everybody. Can you hear me okay over the game audio? I seem to go back and forth with playing this game in spurts, especially if I'm trying to like redesign my island and then not touching it for uh, about a month at a time. But I'm going to give people a chance to filter on in. And then we'll start with the island tour. my newest villager, Sheldon. can imagine that this um, this island tour might be less interesting for you since you have been to my island before. Test, test, is that any better? Hi, Barry. Love seeing all these subscribers in chat. <laughs> I'm, uh, you might catch me eating a little bit here. I'm trying to squeeze in lunch. I had everything all planned out where I was gonna like go pick up fudge's um prescription at giant and then come back in time to make lunch and then i fought with technical issues that is a good choice chrissy because we will be playing some minecraft then Ooh, we have a campsite visitor Trying to get into a good position here. Here we are with my uh, fireworks get up. Got a little bit of junk on the ground to clean up too, and I have way too many uh, rewards 
from last time, pretty much all of them being like boba or some sort of like cotton candy or popsicle. Like, it, it's a cute thing that they added in. I'm glad they did it. Who doesn't like running around eating cotton candy? But now I have to go put it all away. You can also tell by looking at my house when the last time was that I decorated my house. We had a Christmas party with uh, my family, so I decorated this room for that. Here's a question. Barry and Chrissy, which... Oh, never mind, that one doesn't work. So we will be using this one. Oh, are we buffering a little bit? Oh, and this toy copter is special because Rolf gave it to me. So I have to make sure I keep it separate from everything else because Rolf gave this to me. Do you guys have, like, a very special villager in your island that you care greatly about? Because for me, it's Rolf. Oh, you just changed away from that wallpaper recently. Yeah, I feel like it's August, so maybe it shouldn't be snowing in my house. Yours is Pudgeberry? Yeah, I remember. I think I found Pudge on a mystery island pretty early on, but I don't think you had decided if you were getting the game yet. There's my poster of Rolf, and I do have his picture. I kind of feel like I want to give all of the rooms in my house a nice revamp at some point, but baby steps. Let's see, what should we wear? It's still summer. I always like these uh, Bug Alola sh Aloha shirts. I almost said Alola. Sorry, I'm not playing Pokemon right now. still enjoy all of the, like, fall fashion choices that the game gave to us. Yeah, the blue's way cuter with the yellow. Yeah, I think I like that better. These brow line glasses are my favorite, if you uh, couldn't tell. But it's summer, so let's pop some shades. Oh, I forgot to change my backpack. I don't think I need to wear the, uh, the prom sash. We were wearing it for the uh, fireworks festival. Yeah, I like that backpack a lot. Hi, Cyborg. Welcome in. Yes, given that I haven't streamed since Sunday, I fought with some audio technical difficulties for a while. No. Okay. So much stuff. 
stuff to put away. I would imagine it would be kind of gross to go through your, like, closet in a couple of months and find, like, you had five different cups full of boba tea that you just decided to, like, throw in the back of your closet. <coughs> I did find a pearl the other day when I was diving. I think that's the first one I have, like, actually found. So anyway, we're doing a little bit of a house tour. I think I remember this room. Yes. This is kind of my, um... I have a little nod to the Umbrella Academy here with the white violin. And then there's Rolf's picture, next to stale cupcakes. Yeah, I know, food doesn't go bad in AC, except turnips, I guess. Nice little writing desk. I need to make more of those starry garlands. bit of a crowded kitchen, but aren't they always? No, I don't think I'm going to put new clothes on from the refrigerator. I feel like every time I have friends over, they make it a point to like leave everything on that can be turned on. So like all of the sinks will be left running. If I have stove tops, they will be left on. Just pure, absolute chaos. little Dungeons and Dragons basement setup. Box full of D&D &D books. And here's just a nice little stack of D&D &D books. This is like kind of loosely based on my friend's basement where we do play D&D. &D. Just needs like a pool table with a sheet thrown over top of it. And then it's about the same. And in this room, I'm still kind of in the process of working on. I think more than anything, I need some decorations for the walls. I still wish I could visit my own uploaded dream in this game because I have my last um, version of this town saved. Yeah, there are quite a few wardrobes here, plenty of places to change your clothes. If you're down like at this angle, it kind of looks like a wall, but obviously if you're up here, it like breaks the immersion a bit. Some people go really intense with their... Uh, like perspective in the builds that they do and I kind of like it to at least look normal from a couple of different angles like to me if you're running past somewhere and it looks completely janky and wrong if you're like up like this 
and it only looks good if you look at it from here. It, it just breaks my personal immersion a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that guy. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Where'd you go? Are you already gone? That is a banded dragonfly. Already gone, I think. You can chase those suckers, like, literally all across the map. That's a regular one, I think. Yeah. There you are. Ah. No! They troll you like that, too. Glad you're on your lunch break. Everyone's watching me fail miserably to catch this banded dragonfly. Yeah! I didn't actually think I was gonna get it. I already have one in my museum, so right now it's just for show off points. So this is my little farmer's market area with some nice, like, fresh cut flowers. I want to put a couple more things on some of the stands to, like, make it look full. Nine times out of ten, my shovel is broken. Anytime my dad comes over to my island to visit, he's like, Ooh, fossil spots, I'm gonna steal them all. And I tell him, please do. And he never does. who like at this point doesn't really usually do anything with the money glowing spot I mean money growing on trees is kind of nice I figured that you guys probably always do the money tree stuff. So over here, I'm working on like a boardwalk kind of area with like the popcorn and the cotton candy machine. Yes, posture check. Trying not to shrimp too hard. This is my little RV. It looks better when you look at it like this. But I think it looks okay like this. We got a little like clothesline and outdoor shower. I need to come up here and clean up all the weeds. See, I love the way this looks, but functionally, it's horrible. Because you've got all of these, like, furniture items next to the rocks. So you're losing, like, half of the drops from the rock anyway. I was trying to figure out if I wanted, like, some bamboo up here too. But the, pro the main problem being that it makes collecting any resources from the rocks impossible. really need the money. Honestly, anytime my friend or I find really good turnip prices, one of us will 
magically uh, find their way to Sunday and buy turnips and then just come over and sell them. But the reason I do that is because I feel like to keep renovating your island is like a couple of million bells each time to move all of the houses out to the beach and then move them all back to where you want them to be. And that's not even like uh, counting all of the bridges and inclines that you have to demolish and then remake. What do you want, Deirdre? Actually, I forget if I have your picture. Oh, you don't like our greeting. Hmm. What greeting? Oh, she still says Ruffles. Her neighbor Pango moved out recently, and Pango used to say Ruffles. Huh. Greetings are hard. I usually try to do some sort of like animal pun. You are a sisterly village, so. Hey, soy. <laughs> Definitely what I wanted. give you the weirdest nicknames. Aw, you got the zoomies. Mew. Mew. I want a Naruto run. Mew. Look at him go. I love Deirdre. Deirdre was a very lucky random find. He has named his abs. Alright. So here we are. This is the little island of Rockhurst. Right now it is a wedding venue slash winery themed island, which I think is perfect because my uh, three year wedding anniversary was yesterday, so I get to showcase this now. Got a nice little um, front park area. And over here, we have a little train stop. I love this area so much, but the one thing that kills me is that it's two inclines here, like back to back. So I feel like it has really limited where I'm able to put inclines anywhere else on the map. And the trains come out of this little tunnel here from the station, and they make their way around. Here in front of the train station is our glamping ground. Now I've got some junk on the ground here that I need to clean up. I, I like to throw little um, Animal Crossing parties for family and friends, and usually we'll do prizes. So I think this is a full set of mermaid furniture. Yep, I am going to see who the visitor is. Who are you? If you are Raymond, all bets are off. No, you're Kabuki. Welcome back, Barry. Kabuki is camping here today. Yeah, I haven't used the mermaid stuff, and part of it is because I, I haven't really done that much diving to get the recipes from uh, Pascal. So yes, here's our nice little glamp ground. Complete with a nice little tiki bar here. This is the one year anniversary cake. Oh, 
don't feel like I really need the summer seashells for anything anymore. And this is just the, uh, the, like, picnic area of the glamping grounds. Let's see. Okay, I do have it. So this is my little water play area, like you got your pirate ship, you got a nice little shower once you uh, get out of the ocean, some fences, some walkways, and then here, I couldn't get rid of this. So my cliff is kind of awkwardly sized. Some people have like these peninsulas on their island that are like five or six blocks wide. Mine is two, so I did the best I could. But this is what you do. Oh, I didn't do the flip. So it's a little diving cliff. I called it the green thumb because it looks like a thumb. I thought you could flip. It's been a while since I've, uh partake in, in this mechanic, though. I feel like I only ever do it when uh, Gullivar is in town. I'm, like, almost certain that you can do a flip, but yeah, I forget how. Ooh, a bird wing. Oh, it's a timing thing? Weird. So this is a little residential district. So Kurt is apparently a film aficionado. Yeah, the bird wing would make a really nice, pretty statue. I don't remember if I have one yet. So another feature of my island here is the, uh, it's like a little post office slash the gift collection area for the wedding. So you can come in here and um, there's like room to come get your mail and also room to drop off presents for the happy couple. Here's a little guest list. And my pumpkin patch. It's got a little visitor in it. I really ought to keep selling these because I, the pumpkins sell decently well. Nice. Some nice designs in here. This blue pineapple hat. I also have a couple of um, Pokemon varsity jackets that I made. The blue jacket? The one up on the wall or one of these? Yeah, the sable made one. I think it's like a hoppy or a happy tea. This one here. Also, that looks like a jean skirt. Yeah, the happy tea. I think that's the one you mean. Oh, I love this outfit so much too hot for jeans. I 
I think that matches well enough. ones. Yeah, you don't have the happy tea yet. Sometimes you just gotta buy new clothes. It's funny though because I feel like individually I own a lot of these items. I just never like would see them to wear them together. So yes, this is the little area next to my garden. With a little pony. And here the train goes back into the island. You still run around, Deirdre? You still got the zoomies? You still got the zoomies. So we continue on our island adventure over this way. This is Flip's house. And then this is a kind of a new area that I've been working on, the museum. All of these DIYs are because I feel like I want to maybe remodel the island again and I was going to do it with like a new character to kind of bring back some of the excitement of the game and the new character's house would go here and then all of those DIYs are collected um, for if I do find the energy to want to start streaming this game. I just know that like island remodeling is it's a process, and I also know it might not be that exciting to watch me literally flatten my entire island. So there's a bit of, like, trying to make sure it's content that I want to do, and also content that people would actually enjoy watching. Oh, you didn't know houses could go on the beach? Yeah, um, I always move everything to the beach for remodeling. You can't even put stores on the beach. My museum was on the beach for like almost a year while I was remodeling. This is another little like train stop area. You can walk through this little valley here. I'm trying to figure out what kind of theme I would want to go with next if I were to remodel. I like to pick themes. For the island. Here you can see the train comes back out. This is just a nice little like picnic area back near the secret beach. Now we get up here to the reception venue. Which you can also get to from over here. Come over, nice little DJ booth. Nice little dance floor here. Are you guys feeling it? My character gets way more into it than I do. <laughs> then, yep, a little nature area, probably for some pictures. And then here are the tables. I didn't really want to make it any bigger than this. I know that, like, eight people is kind of small for a reception guest list, but we'll, we're, we're pretending. Yeah, I like the confetti cannons. The um, the festival stuff, I think, I don't know if it's festival or festival, but it's like spelled festival with an E at the end of it. So like festival, festival, I don't, I don't know. But a lot of like really cool feather-based things and like confetti. 
I figured it would be perfect for this. So then we come back down here, and here's my house. A little hot spring next to it. And I've got mail. Hey, biscuit. got me something for tea time. What did you get me? Aw, an espresso maker. Oop, sorry little bug. So you come over here and here is an orchard with all of the fruit trees and then here's my little vineyard. No, I'm just gonna scare all of the cicadas away. And then here, a little bit north of the uh, vineyard, is I've got like a little barn here. At least that's what I was going for. Little sign that says vineyard. And then up here is my tasting area with like the different wine shelves and everything else. I'm going to need to take a quick five minute break. I want to get a little bit more food and take a restroom break. So everyone make sure you get some water and I will be right back.
we go. Always something. I can still hear the music. There's always something, isn't there? That's my old one. Alright, so video capture one is my droid cam, and that is working. And it should be. Quite weird. This is video capture one. Seriously, what happened? I'm not quite done yet with the uh, island tour, so just a sec. The music came back. But I don't know why the display is gone. And it's back! I don't know what I did. Anyway, welcome back. Sorry for the continued technical difficulties that we seem to be having today. But yes, here you can come get a little uh, sip of some cider made with some fresh fruit. And then there's plenty of kegs around. Some chocolates to sample with and some wine racks here. This is our uh, sommelier's house, and our sommelier is actually Fudge. I don't think I have his house, like, fully decorated yet. He started playing a little bit when the game first came out, and we had thought about getting a second switch for it. Well, there's cockroaches! We had thought about getting a second switch, um so that he could, like, have his own island. But the draw wasn't, like, that strong for this game in particular. I kind of did intend to make this look like a tasting room, and maybe with, like, a wine cellar in the back, but I haven't quite gotten there yet. I do, however, love this room. This is our spa. Again, complete with cockroaches. Look at how cozy this is. Uh, I want to just, like, I want to live here. In this spa. I don't think I would do it if there were actual cockroaches there. I think I need a jukebox or something for this room. The, the water sounds are very soothing. I don't think 
anything's over here. No, empty room. I did start an upstairs room. I do know that. And uh, Fudge does not have a basement yet. I probably have enough money to buy Fudge a basement. Well, get out of here. This is the tea room. No cockroaches allowed. So, yes. This is the comfy little tea room. It's got some nice, like, uh, teapots and... Pretend you didn't see that that was a climbing wall turned backwards, but I kind of like how it makes it look like a little closet from certain angles anyway. Very nice and the chill room. we will head back this way. For my secret little uh, wooded paradise. And extra special secret. There we go. It's like, I know you can do this, but I don't have a second one set up anywhere yet. So yeah, you can hide the warp pipes. If you're uh, clever about it. <coughs> Oops, I think I just picked some flowers. I didn't want to do that. What am I supposed to do with these? Sell them, probably. Got a little hobbit house here. I'm trying to figure out the best way to utilize those um, standees. So this started out with me actually wanting to make a hedge maze, but I didn't really have the space to make an actual hedge maze. So this was about as like ornate as I could get with the area that I had. I was going to originally put this over where that like wooded area is, but as you can see, like it's a little bit bigger, but not by much. And honestly, having more space just made it harder and harder for me to figure out how to make it work. Here is our lovely venue. This is the venue itself. The happy couple walks down the aisle. And there's a nice little flower basket here. I'd be so sad if, like, I found out that this was a consumable and that, like, after using it five times, it was empty <laughs> or something crazy. I do know that the, the boba and the popsicles and the cotton candy are only good for two, like, uses before they're empty. And my problem is, like, I don't know if there's a way to look at it and say, oh, I sipped this once already. So, I'm just gonna keep it because we have to put some tea up in the tea room. I have to say, I don't actually think I played in June this year when they brought the wedding stuff back. I don't really remember if there was much new. I know you could buy a couple of different things from the um, Nook shop. So this is my land bridge to take us back to the reception site. 
the idea of it being a land bridge is that you can't really make bridges that one are this big but two that cross from like one cliff to a second cliff it would have to directly cross a river and since this is not technically a river because it's like it's um it's down one elevation marking from here the uh, the bridges and like the bridge rules are very complicated honestly it took me a very long time to get my two diagonal bridges over next to the uh, tasting area. This is my little uh, town square. I had originally wanted both of the shopping Wonderful. areas. Wonderful. I had originally wanted both of the shopping areas, like, um the Nook store and the Able Sister shop to be... Oh, stop it. To be, like, in this same area, but there just was not space for it. Some of my lovely designs. I'm very grateful that they gave us more design space because I was pretty much out of space. Let's see, I think there's just one more little area to show off. To me, it's really hard to know, like, when your island is done, if you can even really call it that. I feel like it's the kind of thing that you could just keep making small changes to. Oh, here's my boy. Here's my boy. Oh, I love this boy. Got a little picnic basket. Competitive ice skating. I mean, I'd believe it if you've seen his um, picture in his poster or his like actual photo. He's wearing like skiers gear, so seems like maybe winter sports used to be his jam. <laughs> Get out of here, bot. You have a bucket that can hold two rocks. Well, that seems pretty interesting. And then I think this is actually the last of the uh, train stations that I have <coughs> here on the island. It doesn't make like an actual full circuit because I couldn't think of anything interesting to do back here. So it kind of just vanishes into the cliffs back here. And then loops back up to the like main train station from here. What are you making, Mitzi? A log chair. I'm not gonna lie, I do kind of wish that you could, like, tell a villager you don't need their DIY. Because you just, you amass so many of them. And I get to a point where I just start selling them. Except I'm collecting them for potentially streaming. Right now, but I, I can't tell you how many I had to get rid of. So we'll follow the train tracks back. And this is where it goes. So do you guys have any sort of like theme on your island? Uh, my first island was kind of just like very natural aesthetic. 
And then my second one, I did a botanical garden. And this is my third iteration that I did the uh, vineyard slash wedding venue. So I'm trying to figure out whether I want to do another remodel, whether I think that would be interesting content, and then what to do. You've been making a lot of flower beds, Chrissy? Yeah, uh, that's my one complaint about this game, is that with the rain and with n not being able to, like, run through flowers to destroy them, you're just always gonna get way too many flowers, unless you put patterns down everywhere, like I kind of have. I do kind of wish the game had some more uh, house plants. New Leaf used to have like an entire set of house plants. Like probably 10 to 20 different house plants. And I feel like only three or four of them actually made it into this game. So it's a little lacking for a plant witch such as myself. But I think that's actually going to uh, wrap up my island tour for today. Stick around though, we are going to be switching to some better Minecraft and hopefully, um, hopefully no technical issues this time. So stay, stick around while I make a couple of changes.